So I like to use haagen coffee ice cream, and either real coffee that you've made yourself or driven through Dunkin' Donuts for, or you can use a bottled cold brew. I'm using one from uh, Starbucks. I prefer real coffee, but it doesn't last as long. I use a 12-ounce glass, and this is also how I measure the proportion of ice cream to other stuff so that I'm sure that it's going to fit perfectly in the glass that I want to use to drink. And you don't end up with that little bit left over or a little too little that it doesn't even fill the glass and the disappointment that comes with that. So first I fill pretty tightly the glass with the ice cream. Um, You want to pack it down, not so much, but you want to make sure there's a good amount of ice cream in the glass all the way, almost all the way to the top, because you want to leave just a little room for whatever liquid you're using, whether it's real coffee or the cold brew, and you have a little bite for yourself. You know, that's a necessary part of making a milkshake. And then you, I'm a big shaker, you pour in your liquid, whether it's cold brew or real coffee, obviously cold, not hot, out of the pot. And then you just pour it in almost to the top because you need to leave just a little room for the, I like to use Hershey syrup. I know this is a coffee milkshake, but I think that the chocolate gives the coffee a little boost, just like people sometimes put a little coffee into chocolate things to give it a little spark. So you dump all of that, the ice cream and the liquid into the blender, and then you do a shot of Hershey syrup as much as you want. And I like to, as it blends, I will rinse out my glass because I want to have my milkshake in a clean glass, not one with drips all around the inside. I let it blend for about a minute and then I'll check it. And if it seems a little too thick, Then I'll add a little more of my liquid. Um, But you'll notice I do not add milk to my milkshake because I feel that the milk flavor really dilutes the coffee flavors and it just makes it sort of murky and weak. So here I'm looking at it and it's a little too thick so I'm going to add in just a little more of the coffee. Better too little than too much. You can always add more if it's still too thick and I'll blend it again. Blend, blend, blend. (laughs) Blending, good. (laughs) I don't have a fantastic blender, so it takes maybe a little longer than it would with a super duper blender. And then you pour it into your glass and you'll see that it's gonna fit almost perfectly into the glass. I probably could have used one more scoop of ice cream, but look, that's, that's pretty perfect. So you don't end up with extra and you're not shy of any. I always like to rinse my blender pitcher quickly right in the beginning so that nothing like hardens in there and then you get to drink your milkshake yum